Okay, guys, I want to give you a real quick update. I had a uh, young man attempt this on his own. Not a great big deal. And as you know, all you do is take this uh, little implement holder, like a broom handle holder or mop handle holder, that you put on your wall. And that then um, cut it down, drill two holes in it. You're going to mount it to your fender, back up where you can see the fender. You're going to mount it to the fender in two locations. Of course, you want them to be in direct line with each other. And what the young lad did, and he called me or actually emailed me, came by, wanted to come by and uh, show me what happened. He put this on and it slid off. <laughs> he didn't run over it. He didn't kill the reacher. This is not, this is my reacher. It's not his. And um, he wanted to know what he did wrong because he followed my directions and he put, and I'm not going to say who it was. He's in our Hustler More owner group on Facebook. But, um, <laughs> no, I'm not going to give you name away. I told him to put, uh, and I told everyone, just go ahead and mix up a little epoxy. And, and Or I think I just said, put a drop of epoxy on either side on the slide where the grabber holder goes onto the mount. And that way it'll be semi-permanent. You can always take it off and, and remodel whatever you want to do. Consequently, I didn't say you had to mix the two parts of epoxy. So to that young gentleman, I've already apologized in person for not being more specific in the details. And everyone knows I'm usually very detail oriented and I didn't do that. So I apologize to him and to all of you that may have put epoxy on that slid off because it wasn't mixed with equal parts of material in the hardener. So epoxy doesn't get hard unless you put the hardener in so what i've done on his and i went ahead and did it on this one real quickly just to give you an example because i didn't have a camera with me the other day when i did this so what i did is i drilled with a series of three drills here a small one this is eighth inch this one is like a 964 and this is like 1164 and 1164 allows an 832 screw to go through still tonight okay and I used on this one is an 832 by one and a half what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these off flush with the nut on that one and this one so that it doesn't stick out and I'll file it nice and smooth and then I'll paint everything so that's the update thought you all might be interested uh, this is a great addition Check this out, guys. People wondered, and I've had some questions. Oh, I don't know if I can stay still enough. Can you see them? I'll tell you what, let me do it this way. Let me put this on the tire. And hopefully this won't slide off. And you can see if you can see the deck move as the mower is moving around. I'm going to try to steady the camera. All right, that's not working. Hand holding this thing is not working for y'all. All right. Now that was moving the whole lawnmower, guys. So it just shows you how strong this thing is. Oh, that's moving the camera again. I apologize. So what it's doing is this thing is strong enough that it's moving, moving the entire mower as well as moving me while I'm doing that. So I, you can see how much pressure I'm putting on this thing. So it's it's very steady. So there you go, guys. That's the update. Just put a screw through here right as close to the mount as possible. Um, put the bolt through there. Put a couple of nuts on it to lock them in place. And then it becomes permanent until you decide to remove it. So it is removable. Uh, you just remove, loosen these nuts right here. Just to slide off. Then you can get to these two screws. And if you don't remember, on the back side, I put a piece of aluminum that is the same length, maybe actually it's a little longer, a little wider, than this mount to give this fender quite a bit of support. And I threaded those as well as putting nuts on the back side and double locked them. So this sucker is not going anywhere. We hope you enjoyed the video. Apologize for the dirt on the mower. I washed it, pulled it inside here, and it threw mud up on our dirt up from the tires. 
I knocked all that crap loose from the tires. I got muddy on that first mow. And it's time to mow again. But I think before I mow again, I'm going to go ahead and remove these tires. I had hoped to have a pair of wheels by now, but I don't. And what I was going to do is leave these original tires and wheels. These are the factory wheels. And I was going to leave those mounted. And then mount another set of tires that I have for the world land speed record attempt. Put them on. Do the same thing as I've done here. Mark them. Do a rollout. Do a mile per hour on the taller, the wider tires. Or actually, they're not as wide. I think they're half inch narrower. But they are um, two inches taller than these. So we'll see how much difference mile per hour that makes. And then the next step is we have coming from Mass FX from Mass Depot, a pair of tires that are 23 by 1100 by 10. Those things are going to come all the way up to here. I mean, those suckers are huge and lug tires. So um, hope you look forward to that. We're going to have these things in from Mass Depot in their Mass FX tires. Um, they're not widely known in the more world yet, but I think they're really going to be. They look like a fantastic tire, and I can't wait to show them to you and to, uh, to debut them here on the Hustler Raptor SD60. So you'll be seeing those very, very soon. But we want to go ahead and get the rollout, measure the rollout on the tire for the 2200 series. And then we'll get that 2300 on there and make sure that we can clear this point. If you can see this sticks out right here, or the weld sticks out, and that's the only point I'm concerned with because it's that quarter inch. I'm going to have to take part of this down, maybe an inch and a half of that down, and then weld it on the inside and repaint it that way and paint the outside, of course. That way that tire will move because I don't want that lug to catch the top of this mower and try to climb the, the deck. Would not be at all good. So I hope you enjoyed the video and the update. I appreciate y'all dropping by Max's Garage Mahal. Please share. Hit that thumbs up button down there. Hit that subscribe if you hadn't already. And we hope that uh, you'll come back and see us again at Max's Garage Mahal. Y'all come back now, yeah?